Well, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to wire a solar pump. The pump actually works on DC voltage. And so I'm going to put a solar PV system together to power this DC pump. All right, so this is the motor that we are going to power. This is actually a pump. So because it's a DC motor, we can actually use solar panels to power it. But then, before we start to put a solar system together to power a particular load, first of all, we must have certain information about the load. So the load we are going to power now is a DC motor or DC pump. And first of all, we have to know the power rating of the motor and then the input DC voltage that it requires to work. All right. So here, to get that information, we have to get closer to the motor. And then here, you can see the power rating is 550 watts. And then it works on 48 volts. But if you look at it down here, there is another information which says that best DC voltage is between 60 volts and then 90 volts. All right, so the most important thing is to get that information. And then that information will help us to select our solar panels appropriately. Because in this case, we would have to get a solar panel that can give us all the requirements that is stated on the motor. So at least we must have a solar panel that can generate 550 watts of power. And then it must give us an output voltage of not less than 48 volts. And for best operation, we would have to organize the panels in a way that they should be able to give us anything between 60 volts and then 90 volts for best operation. All right, getting this information will now inform us to get the correct panels that will be able to power this motor. And so here in this video, I have my panels. And the question is, why are the panels two? The panels are two because I'm going to check together with you. And then you'll realize that each of these panels is rated 550 watts all right. And so the power requirement is okay for the motor, but the voltage rating of each of these panels is below the 48 volts that is required to power the motor. And so we would have to use two of the panels with the same power rating and connect them in series so that we can double up the voltage. All right, so here, this panel is able to give us 550 watts all right, but the voltage that this panel can produce is only up to 41.33 volts. Meanwhile, the minimum voltage required for the motor to work is 48 volts. And we are also told that the best voltages that it will require to work is between 60 volts and then 90 volts. And so connecting two of these 550 watt panels in series, it will double up the voltage. And so if one is producing 41 volts, two will give us 82 volts and 82 volts is perfectly between 60 volts and 90 volts and so two of these panels will give us the perfect power output and voltage output to power the motor actually we are getting 42.7 volts all right so now we are sure that each of these panels will give us 42.7 so that means that it's even more than what we are expecting but then when we checked the information on the motor we are connecting will require a minimum of 48 volts. And so still 42.7 cannot make the motor work because we are not getting up to the required minimum voltage that will make the pump work. So then we would have to find a way to double up this voltage. And the way to do that is by connecting two of the same panels in series. And so I'm going to connect the two in series and then I'll measure the output voltage again. Then we see what we would have. So here we connect these two panels in series together. And so here, the positive connection is far here and the negative connection is also far there. So I will actually need an extension to bring the leads closer for the measurement. 
So this connection is coming from the negative output terminal from the panels. And then this red one is also coming from the positive output terminal of the panels. All right, so here we have two panels connected in series. And then we are going to measure the voltage between those two. Okay. So here, as you can see, we have an output voltage of 85.4. 85.4 volts. And so still going back to look at the information on our motor, 85.4 is a very good voltage that should make the pump work effectively. So now we are very sure that we have 550 watts output and we are also sure that we can get our output voltage of 85.4, which is perfectly within the range of 60 to 90 volts. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is to do the various connections to the controller. All right, so in my first video on solar PV system installation, I made mention of the DC to DC converter, which is also known as the DC controller that you will need to use to control the DC voltage that is produced from the panel to the load. For this particular load, this is the controller that we need to control the voltage output from the panels to the motor. Without this, you can't have your load working. All right, now let's go into how to connect the various parts together to make this motor work. All right, so first we open up. Our cables have to enter through here. But first of all, before we connect the motor, we would have to connect the solar panel to the controller. This is how the connection is going to be done. So you have positive from PV, negative from PV, then this one, two, three terminals. One, two, three terminals will connect to the motor. And then these ones, we are actually not going to connect these ones for this experiment. All right, so we are going to connect PV positive, PV negative, then UVW to the motor. All right. So if you watch my earlier videos, you would, you will remember that in connecting the solar panel, we have to connect the negative first before the positive cable. So here, negative first, followed by the positive cable. Then the next thing to do is to connect the cable from the load, in this case, the pump. All right, so here on the motor cables, we have indications that show where each of the cables will connect and that makes it very easy for us. So here, the black one, the black one connects to W Then blue one connects to V. And then brown connects to U. Okay. All right, so connection done. So here, our two solar panels in series, our uh, Moto, and then our controller. Okay, so now the system is off. When we switch on, 
So here, the sun is going down. And so we have 63.5 volts. But this is very much enough to power our load. And so let's see. As you can see, the motor is now working. So our pump is now working. If we had connected water, you see it's pumping water. So off, on. Okay, you can see the shaft rotating. It means if we had connected this to water, you see it pumping. Okay. All right, so you can see the system is working. Because there is no water, the controller is telling us that we need to connect water to the system. All right, so this is how to put up a solar system together to power a DC pump. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you like this video, do well to hit on the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to stay connected in case you have not yet done that. See you in my next video.